Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out another one of our videos. We just really wanna thank Amy, Alex, Big Gus, and Little Gus for coming here to the grooming shop and hanging out with us all day. We had such an amazing time that day. We ate pizza. As you'll see in the video, I probably had one too many slices, but we really had an amazing time grooming Big Gus. We really had an opportunity to indulge on the creative end of scissoring and really kind of mastering our skills as dog groomers. We don't always get that opportunity because a lot of times in the shop environment, it's basically cut downs and shave downs and high maintenance dogs that we're working on and just trying to get the grooming done. But with Gus, again, we just really got to scissor and make him come out beautiful. Stay tuned till the end so that you could see how amazing Gus came out. In the video, Amy turned me on to these new Kenchi chunkers. Guys, I never used them before. This was the first time I ever used them and I've been using them every day since. They're an amazing tool. If you really wanna up your grooming game, get these Kenchi chunkers. Amy gifted these to me. Amy, thank you so much. I love them. It was so nice of her to do that. If you guys wanna check them out for yourselves, we'll leave the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, do us a favor, hit the like button and subscribe if you're new to our channel. Right, so Rudy and I have talked about this, just trying to figure out what we're going to do. We decided that I'll do half of the clipper work on this side. Right. Rudy, you're going to do the other half side. And try to, and try to match, try it, to match it. it. Try to match it. Let's see what happens. And then we'll go to the scissor work on the legs and the rear and everything, and then we'll move on to the head? Yeah. And you, you agreed to do the harder side for me. So oh, you. you're pointing that out. Thank you. We all as groomers have an awkward side. And yeah, both Rudy and I... It's usually this side. We have the same awkward side. Yeah, we have the... Yeah, so, but... But we're going to make it work. We're going to do it. We're not worried. We're do it. I told him I have the upper hand. This is actually my dog. I'm used to grooming him. So it's only right that I should take the side that's awkward to but both of us. Here's here's a testimony to Amy's grooming, you know, his past grooming or the grooming before this one he looks groomed already so it's a testimony to how well amy grooms his dog because he he looks amazing just as he is see and anthony's proper bathing yeah brushing and drying skills yeah, yeah. made him look so good too. and and gus because he's such a he's a he's a he's a beautiful specimen let's just say that oh god we Did love you gus that? Did we you love that? gus so right. I'm using Rudy's Andis Clipper. This is the first time I've tried. This is the Pulse Five Speed. Yeah. Is that what it is? I have never tried the Pulse Five Speed. I've had many Andis Clippers, but not this one. So um, I'm anxious to try it, just to feel it. You know, I have my favorite. You, all, you guys know I'm a Wall KM10 kind of girl, but I'll say this clipper feels great. It feels great. So we're gonna get going with it. Um, with him, I'm gonna start on the top line. And we are using a 5 8 inch wide guard comb. And these guard combs fit on the wide blades only, and we're using it on a 30 blade. So we're going to seat that on there. It seats on there nicely. And uh, I'm so excited to see what we create together. So. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah. So let's get to it. So we're going to start up this clipper. He has a dip in his back. So normally I would start right behind the withers, which is right here. But I'm gonna I'm gonna come back a little further and try to level out that dip a little. Did you see that just kind of did, didn't it? I'm just gonna try to level out that dip a little. And then what I usually do is from then I come on an angle down the tail a little bit, and then I start taking off this angle from the point of hip to the point of rump. Start taking that off and scooping off at the point of rump. We're going to create a little angulation on him, and he is bony, guys. You're going to see that, but I'm still on the top of the dog, if you notice that. I haven't come down in here yet. I'm going to start coming down, and I'm not going to go into the lay of his leg. I'm going to graze. I'm going to drop off right into this leg hair, and we're going to leave this. Rudy and I are going to hand scissor the rest of the dog. So we're going to come straight down, and right about, where's my comb? This hip. Or, I'm sorry, this is the, what is that, Rudy? Knee, knee is that, or, this is just, his just knee, a, or, it's a bone there. Oh, I forget what it is. From there, we're skimming. When I say skimming, I mean I'm not moving in. I'm just skimming. 
to create a straight leg. So do it in slow motion so you can see that. Then I'll come this way. Coming off the stifle. And that's all I'm going to take off with the clipper. That's it. So what we did, we did the top line, we made this angle, we made this angle, and then we started pillaring our leg, basically. And then I came this way and dropped off right at the knee and did not go into the dog. So that's creating our pillared leg. Now what I usually do at this point, I set the back leg. I usually set the front leg. He doesn't stand right. He twists himself, so I often have to remind him to stand properly so I get in. See how he turned that elbow in? He turns the elbow in, and it, it's going to look great right now, but a minute later when he's standing normal, my groom's going to be all thrown off. Sometimes I will actually put my hand in here and keep that elbow out because he's so notorious for twisting it in. You're going to see that, Rudy. So you might want to... He does that when you're working there. He goes, yeah, yep. and it affects our groom. Of course. So I will keep my hand there on mm. his elbow. Yeah, so yeah. if I feel him do it, I press back against him. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to come down right about the shoulder. The shoulder's right here. We're going to start at the shoulder. And then I'm, now I'm grazing. I'm not going into the dog. I'm trying to create a straight dog. So I'm, at that point, I'm grazing. I'm not taking, not going in. And this is, Rudy's at a little bit of a disadvantage because he hasn't done this trim on this dog. So I want to say that. If this were me and, and Rudy, this was his dog and this was the trim he does on his dog, he would be very comfortable with it. Me, I'd have to study more. What's he doing? How can I make that match? So that's what's going to make this challenging. So now I'm going to come right there below. This we're going to scissor in later. I'm going to come right below that swoop of the neck. This is still neck. And that's where I'm going to start dropping up. But I'm looking down the side of him because I just want to see straight. So I'm not taking everything. I'm only taking what's going to make this straight down the dog. And it's important to actually look at your dog like this sideways when you're working on him. Once you set that, you're set and you can go in and start working at it from a different angle. And then we're just going to blend this together. I'm not going to come in hard on this tuck up because I actually need to fill some of this in. His tuck up is really tight. I mean tight. Look at this. If I followed the tuck up, he would look like this. So I, I got to leave some hair. He, he's, he's not as perfect as he looks. <laughs> oh, I know. That's what everybody says. Quit picking on him. Like, well, whatever. I'm just being, I'm just saying from a grooming standpoint, that's all. Yeah. And now I'm dropping off about his rib cage. I'm not following this down because he is so narrow in here. If he wasn't, I could follow this around. But we're talking about this particular dog's body structure, and that's why we're doing what we're doing with it. So that he doesn't look so pinched. And now that I'm standing here at this angle, I'm seeing I could actually go a little tighter right here just to smooth that down into the leg. And we can always tidy up some of this with shears if we have to afterwards. That's going to be the fun part. The clipper work can actually make or break your trim. Because if I went too tight and too hard right now, we wouldn't be able to fix that at all with scissor work. It's better to take a little less. And I do just, where a dog bends the front of their leg, I do accentuate that just a tad. And then we'll scissor the rest. So we have that side basically set with clipper work. Now I'm going to come around to the front. 
and let's get you out of there for a second. Good boy. I'm just going to fluff everything up. Now, I'm only doing half of his chest because Rudy's doing the other side. And we've been filling this in right here because I did have this kind of short mm -hmm. uh, right around it to the yeah. Adam's apple. Yeah. We're filling it in. So okay. we're, I think we're going to go right from jawline okay. all the way around. That's what we'll start. And we'll leave that as yeah. head assembly. Mm -hmm. If anything, I would leave because from this perspective, he needs kind, it there. You kind of have this, and you want kind of. That. He does have a sunken chest, yeah. mm -hmm. so we want to leave this. So yeah. Gray's off here. Yeah, yeah. Just come in here mm -hmm. and tighten this up under there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah, because when you look at it from that side, yeah, uh huh, yeah. and that matters. That's balancing the trim. Yeah. yeah. So let's hope I don't mess it up, guys. No. So tilt his head up. I'm going to come right under his jawline. And I'm going to scoop off like Rudy said. We can scissor this in. Mm -hmm. We can take off what we want with the scissor. It's important that we don't take too much right now. I can cut this in a little bit to show that little H between his legs. But this I'm going to leave. We will scissor that so that we know we don't take too much. And now looking at him from this angle, I can see what I can take off into that shoulder to blend this into the shoulder. Like we don't want to come all the way up here and start. We just want to graze a little and blend that together. So actually we are doing a lot of grazing on this, aren't we? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'd say that's about it. Yeah, we're talking about this shot here. You see this, Sam? Yeah. So leave a little bit of that chest here. You know? Yeah, mm -hmm. so, so to pop that out yeah. so that he balances with his rear. And this will go like right, you know. And then what we can do, I usually like, I usually like the uh, underline to only be as long as his elbow. But he has kind of a bad elbow. <laughs> he's he's not as long legged as he looks. It's fake yeah. with hair. Yeah. So if you look, his elbow really is here. But we make it look like it's up here to yeah. give him a longer leg. So I'm gonna go along with that pretend elbow. Mm -hmm. And now I just combed up and I see where I can actually yeah. trim more right here. Just blend that down in. So what I'm going to do is I am going to come along here, pretend this is his true elbow. I'm going to just pick this leg up. And I'm just going to come up right underneath him. I, I didn't come into here. I'm just coming along the underline just to tidy up the underline. And, and so that's really it. I mean, as far as the clipper work, I would rather do the rest with scissors mm -hmm. and tie it together. Let me just tidy this up. But I do believe that that's that for setting in the length with this, and now it's your turn. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, the main reason why I'm at a disadvantage is because I have no idea what a benacarpal is. I didn't say benacarpal. Oh, uh, what did you say? I didn't. I don't know. Okay. Well, whatever that is, bend I don't know what that is. So I, I hope I hope I don't cut it off. Bend of stifle. Uh, the bend of, uh, yes, a bend of stifle. I like benacarpal. Uh, yeah, brother. benacarpal tunnel syndrome, <laughs> syndrome a bend of stifle, and I don't know, man. I have, <laughs> I have no idea what the hell you're talking about, Amy. But anyway, you do too. You uh, just forgot. More. No, you I, forgot more than anything. No, I didn't. All right. So. Yeah. So this is my first time using this uh, wide width. I can't wait to see Groomy. So, groomy. Groomy. Groomy by Rudy. Groomy groom up close. All right. So what, oh, I get a where, front row is, seat. Is, is, is this where the benestifle is? The benestifle is mm -hmm. the, the stifle is just another word for knee. Oh. So here's his front Couldn't of his knee. Couldn't say knee, huh, Amy? Okay, bend the back. <laughs> no, because the, because this is the behind the knee. So here's his knee. So the bend of stifle means it's where the leg bends. See oh, the crease? Oh, snap. See? Oh, That's why you got to listen to her. She know, yeah, the, uh, Now see how he's twisting? That's yeah. why this side gets a little cattywampus. You'll have to keep reminding him to stand straight or he'll mess you up. So, and he started oh like right, right here. A little right? bit behind that because yeah. of his dip. So I'm going to yeah. come down. And I'm going to try to mimic 
what Amy did so that we so that we <laughs> that we look the same. Right? And what do you think of this wide comb I really, really love the wide comb. I'm going to do what we did here. And then um, you did There's probably a hundred ways to do it. No, you, you, do it. you did, you did something you, know you did something funny there that I kind of liked. I've never seen done before where you did this whole that, oh. which I'm actually afraid to do. No, it takes that. Sure? It takes that better if you come this yeah, way so, towards. Okay, I've never but done. But as long as you come down on an uh, angle and drop off like in front right of the here? knee. I've never done yeah. that. And I, I think I came down a little low, but I'll well, just try to. You'll fix it. Yeah. This coat feels great, by the way, Anthony. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. So, I didn't put those on the work with. Press, press them perfect. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so then I'm going to see. This is you, where a lot of his flaws. You're starting to really feel them when you're grabbing them, right? Um, like, oh yeah, that tuck up his pants. You know. Well, you know, I, honestly, I think he's he's, he's perfect. He's, he's great quality. I think he's great quality. But he is. I just say it makes it hard to put certain certain patterns on, and it's hard sometimes. You gotta leave a lot of hair in different places. Okay, he's standing there like a statue. And like Amy said, see, oh, we don't want to dig too far here. Such and, a tight tuck up. Yeah, but I, at the same time, we're gonna try to even it out maybe a little bit. Yeah, you gotta find that so, happy medium. Amy, I'm gonna do something here only because, like, I know we're gonna scissor this. Mm -hmm. But what I like to do to save a little time sometimes is I'll 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 just start. Damn it! I'll just start a little angularly, you know, start like a little. I absolutely you agree. Know, just 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 to get a little guideline. Exactly. And, then, and don't those blades make it nice to skim? Yeah. I felt like that was one of the highlights of using these wide combs was the skimming yeah. abilities. Yeah, it's then, very accurate. Yeah, I mean, you could you could basically you almost could get do this with you the clipper. you can get a whole finish with the clipper alone, <laughs> which is nice. You know, hey, yeah. We could do it that way, and then just tidy. Well, up. I, I I say we just to save time, only because do some of it. Only because Gus is really. It's been a long day. It's for been him. a long day for him. Maybe we'll just shorten up his grooming, right? Sure. Mm hmm. Little guys in the background making all those monster sounds. He's just a little bulldog. <laughs> sounds like a monster. See, he does have a room that right between his mm -hmm. breastbone sinks on both yeah. sides. Yeah, he definitely needed a little front there. Pop that out, like you said. So I kind of came behind his ear. A little bit, Amy. Um, well, make it match them. <laughs> oh, only, yeah, I guess only or just only because the ear is going to kind of cover it. They are going to. And I, I, I like a real necky, like standard. Yeah. Um, a tighter neck. Yeah, I, I kind of like like a nice, like yeah. flat neck. Um, but I think, to be honest. Uh, and you, you came this way with it, so... Oh, if underneath? I, if I came this way... That's okay, with those combs you can go either yeah, way. would that matter to you? No. It's not... Uh, the, it's not going to change. We're going we're gonna to scissor it up anyway, so... But, figure. I mean, I guess that's about as matched as I can get. What do you think? Yeah, looks matched to me. Much. Well, your side looks better than mine. No way. The, your side the grazing better. and stuff, no, you, your, you tightened it up. Nope, your side no, looks Anthony better. No, Anthony and I can do better than both of you. I should probably tighten up my side. No. Your Let side's it, awesome. I'll have to do more scissor work. Well, here, tighten up your side. If you want. 
it, it's really not tightening up your side. It's just oh, it, it's like oh, Rudy messed it up. Now no, I, it's now not. I, now we, I got to go back to. We my, decided to take uh, that little shortcut and do a little bit of grazing, and I think that that that's a good idea. Don't forget, like you said, huh? It is my first dog. Ever. And we just graze along there and just sort of <coughs> take away a little bit of that center work that we're going to have to do. Okay. So now we will be moving on to... Do you yeah. think we should skim his front legs a little? We can. Um... I'll probably make a mistake. <laughs> well, where's your blade brush? Oh, I don't have. You just use your lungs. You're um, gonna end up with dog hair in there. I actually, I, I, I use a slicker brush sometimes, which I shouldn't, because I just, I just, I, I here, I have a, I have a blade brush. You see, this is what I meant before, guys. If you ever want to feel like you don't know anything about grooming, just hang out with it. Where's your blade brush? We don't have one. <laughs> Blade, blade brush. Yeah, blade what brush. What's what that? Do you mean a brush for like a blade? <laughs> is that like a, a blade? Is that a brush? Like, like, What's that? that? It's a brush that you put on the clipper and it brushes and clips it. It's a blade brush. <laughs> what is that? Oh, Guys, Amy. Don't Does, listen. Amy, will a toothbrush work? Sometimes that's what I hey, use. Hey, man. That's what I use as a blade. Oh, is this your toothbrush? Yeah, but it's okay. I just, you know, it's, I use it to, the to, to, clean, uh -huh. to clean the uh, top. Well, I just think it's easy to unpack the blades. Hey, man. <laughs> Especially with the guard combs. And you notice this blade, these blades get very hot pretty quick. Do they quick, really? Yes. And I think it's just, they're cheaper metal. So they're probably yeah. not going to hold yeah. sharp as long yeah. as a lot of other blades, but, no, but I, 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 I'll I, take it for the convenience. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, so, if I was going to skim this, I have to push that elbow out. What he's saying is, we're, instead of doing all this scissor work, we're going to set some of these lines yeah. with the snap-on comb. Shorten up the grooming. Versus, the yeah, all that time and effort. Like it already looks so you're holding your arm extremely still. That looks really nice. Right but isn't it easy to do it with these wide yes. blades? Yeah. Take advantage of that, right? You're a great skimmer. You're a great skimmer. <laughs> so to make him hold still, I am going to hold this leg out of the way. Because I know how my dog likes to move when you're doing anything with his legs. He doesn't seem to mind it as much with, he, with the skimmer. You're right. You know, like, you know, maybe because it's taking less time, Here you go, your turn. it might be helping him out like a little bit, you know. I just think he likes that method more than when we scissor, mm -hmm. we're constantly coming up his legs and he doesn't it's like okay. anything it's okay. It's okay. metal okay. or brush touching his leg either. Yeah, yeah. So he probably doesn't mind So like, see, that see, that what, see what Amy did right here? Like if you look at it from this perspective, it's like a nice line, beautiful, like coming from- straight down. Yeah, coming straight down. So I'm gonna try to do the same thing. That's right, you grab that elbow, good for you. Mm -hmm. You're about ready to turn it. <laughs> yeah, and I felt him doing it. Yeah. A lot of See, times. See, that's funny. Rudy doesn't has never worked with Gus, but he right away, as a professional groomer, he can feel what he needs to do to keep keep the dog in place, so he can do what he needs to do in a nice, gentle way. Yeah, and if you're if you're going right here, you don't have to worry about it so much. It's literally just this spot right here. Yeah. So even as dog groomers, we like the the, the slightest little areas are kind of. Oh yeah, look that looks know, nice. Just, you just took the tiniest bit off, but yeah. I saw the difference. Yeah. I don't know. It yeah, saved, that, it, it mean, saves that's almost like it saves this. a little time. It, it does. You know, and it's less handling of the paw of the of the leg. That's so true. Maybe a lot of times, if you just let them have their way, and then just go over it again. Yeah. Oh, that's real nice. Yeah, and then Amy, Amy did this thing up that side, so yeah, just grab a little bit of that. Yeah, and you know, you should probably kind of like leave this little bit because if we take it away, then like you got this big 
gap going. His legs are separated from his body now. Yeah, I see what you mean by that, yeah. his little elbow. Because it's yeah. actually lower than we want it. Yeah, yeah. We're making it look higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it looks better. Now he looks more proportioned. Yeah. He's got these long back legs. Mm, and then yeah. he's got these short stubby front legs. So we got to really kind of do something. He has, he has, he's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, and look at here, guys. <laughs> See this, this, uh, this is what? He's, he's creeping we're, on you with the we're, camera. We're just, we're just demonstrating, Gus. What, 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 what? Anyway, back to grooming. Back to grooming. <laughs> grooming 101 with Rudy. Let's go. So where are we going from here, Amy? Do we go for? Uh, at this point, I would do the head because or the face. And once we do the face, because mm -hmm. this is going to be then scissored in. Yeah. So we'll use a blending shears to make okay. it magic. So why don't, why don't you, do you, sh do you thinning shear underneath his eyes? I do. Yeah. With him right now, since we, you, uh, we had him in a, in a, like a Bedlington trim yeah. not too long. Well, yeah, we're still cool. growing it out. Yeah, yeah. So really, honestly, guys, I'm not sure, Rudy, mm -hmm. if we need to do any clipper work no, no. on his head. It looks pretty. I yeah. love it like this. If we'll just do some thinning, like yeah, you said. If anything, a little thinning. Yeah, maybe. you can see where it's uneven. Yeah, and we'll just and even we'll them out it. a little bit. And even, what them. about this? I think this is kind of, if we just shape that tiny bit, yeah. mm -hmm. I think we're good we're, with the length. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anything, maybe we'll just leave a little bit of, you know. Boof. Oh. Yeah, like he doesn't have a whole lot there. Yeah, maybe just, no. We don't want to take it too, too short, just to give yeah. him a, just a, a little looks, bit of like. It looks sharp. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna. I brought my shears for Rudy to try because I'm really, really excited for him to try my shears. And you know what, guys? I, I've never used the Kenchi shears, and you know, Amy's sapphire shears. I I tested them, and they feel phenomenal. And uh, in all honesty, though, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion, though. You know, and like no lie. You know, because you, know, you have to be honest. I have to be honest. You know, yeah. and 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 uh, you know. But from what I felt so far, they feel s beautiful. They're smooth. They got that uh, micro, what, what is it? Called? Micro serrated edge. That micro serrated edge. And it gra that, when you get on the coat, yeah. you'll feel it grab the coat. Yeah, so that micro serrated edge is just this tiny little edge that's super, super sharp. Should I give them a whirl? Yeah, or? but uh, you start with the face because, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I mean, with these shears, these shears aren't going to because they're a 52 tooth okay they're they're really a, just a very soft blend so they're, they're not, not going to be aggressive here? yeah they are actually they're great okay. for the face mm -hmm. but on the body we may say now we want something more aggressive right okay. they're not going to take much okay so i'm just the one thing with shears right with thinning shears that i find one of the big mistakes that people make is they do this pull away and when you, what I do. No, but when you, <laughs> so when you, I'm gonna go put myself in the corner. <laughs> when when you when you pull away, thin, thinning shears generally they they cut slowly. They 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 don't slice. They kind of just they they just take little bits of hair off at a time for a more natural look. Right. But because of that, they actually grab the hair more than cut it. So they're designed to kind of do a lot, a couple of clips, as opposed to clipping and pulling, where you're going to actually be pulling the dog's. Well, it's know. dragging it through. Yeah. Yeah. So, if anything, the, let me tell you something. No lie, guys, these are freaking awesome. I just want to wipe them real quick. They boring. feel good. Oh, they feel so good. Good. They they're, feel good in your hand. Yeah. Well, I, I, you have your little. Your thumb oh, thing you in there? No, you don't do the finger rest. No, but okay. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I, I have small the thumbs. the inserts. But, I do. My but, fingers get lost on but them. But like, look, look at where you like, look at where you can get in. It's so smooth there. Yeah, you know, you can really just kind of use the tips of them. And they're sharp all the way to the tips, like yeah, a shear should be. Yeah, and you know. I love that. Kenchi, Kenchi did this, a fantastic job. This is a great thinning shear, like no lie. That and, looks nice. Yeah, you know, and I want I, I don't want to just the right amount. I don't want to cut doing. too much off of his muzzle because you don't want to start exposing his nose. He you has could, a long one. <laughs> yeah, and you could see here he already has like a little thinning on his nose. He never grows hair. Yeah, so never I don't does. I I don't want to I don't want to like cut too much off of the nose, but you know yeah, if anything, that's, a good idea. that's it. Like.
That looks great. I like how you left a little bit of visor. Yeah. It's a, a real kind of <clears throat> look to the dog. Like it's, it gives him a little expression yeah. versus taking this back. Yeah. It's not going to look the same. Yeah. So if we give him like yeah. that, that little oh, bit yeah. of visor. And again. By I'm, cutting in with I'm, the shears is I'm, what he did. I'm trying these, um, these curves now. They're uh, an eight inch. So I just want to kind of just take a little bit off here like that. You feel that grabbing the coat. Yeah. I can see it grabbing the coat. Yeah. So look look at in, in just well, two in just two snips. I'm looking at have, it from like, the side you know, and it looks great. Yeah, like you don't want to cut too much more off. You kinda of wanna leave yeah. this and then we'll just kind of start to blend this in nicely. Yep, just round that in. Now on his cheeks here, mm -hmm. I've been kind of growing this out. So you, I still think we might want to tidy up a little here. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Like, like, yeah. like just sort of tidy that into there. Mm -hmm. We could even use the blender. Yeah, yeah. That my blender might work good mm -hmm. for there, or we may even go to the chunker. We might want to try my blender first to see if that's all we need. Just a soft blend. Do you want to try this one? You want to try it, Rudy? Yeah. On the side. See yeah. how you like that. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Because now you're going to actually be removing a little more hair. I want to see how you feel about that yeah, shear yeah. for that situation. Like, like right here, Amy. You want me to just kind of. I'm just kinda... thinking that we should. I'm just thinking we should just blend mm -hmm. this a little. Just blend mm -hmm. so it. Yeah. Because it kind of looks like it was left. Like we didn't yeah. finish it. So, last time. Yeah. So again, oh, that's nice. again with with the, with the thinners, we're not pulling. We're doing the job first and letting letting it cut first, and then then kind of letting go. Yeah. yeah. You know, I see a lot of people kind of doing this a There's lot with with thin. Yeah. With, so but not this pair. Yeah. This isn't made for that. Yeah. For the drag and pull, because yeah. it keeps slicing as it yeah. comes out. Yeah. I mean, you can even just kind of oh, move. Good. Yeah, you can move along with it. Like and we this. can just blend right down into yeah. the neck hair right mm -hmm. from there. Yeah, and see, and what's going to happen? Take him off the lead. What What's going to happen with the thinners too? Get that out of your way. Here. You stay, big boy. Here, Bubba. You want these? There you got your comb. Yeah. So what'll happen with the thinners too is that when you when you're doing this right, it's gonna the the coat is gonna stay there. But when you you're gonna comb it out, and, and now it flattens out a little bit, and then it'll flatten out. You'll 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 see. So you comb it out. It's, it's yeah, sitting in there. Sure. Yeah. yeah. You'll see more of what you've done once you've once you've combed it out. And you got to be really careful with these two because you don't want to grab skin either. You know. Yeah, the doodles. Yeah. And standard poodles have a lot of loose skin there. Yeah. Nice job, buddy. But you see, like if we can create this little bit of like a. I just blended it all together. It yeah, great. you know. And because he didn't have an abundance of face hair, head yeah. hair, I mm -hmm. think that was just the right amount. And and these things are blending so nicely. You're tired. Oh yeah, gosh. they're meant to be more of a soft blender, like to, mm -hmm. to just almost like I call them the magic blenders. So here, it's like it just blend those lines away. Yeah. Do do your thing. Do my side. Yeah. Do whatever you want. Yeah. So I'm going to match. He's already looking pretty. He looks great. Mm -hmm. I'm going to match what Rudy just did. And you can see my side just from being in a hurry last time grooming him. I actually left more over here. You can see it. So I need to fix that. I need to make it match this side. So I'm going to come in here and tidy that out a little bit to match this. And then I'm going to come up in here a little tighter. Because we want our sides to match. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to lay the ear out of the way. I don't want to pull it up because it changes the line of his eye. You see that? Mm. So I just want to lay it. Look down, buddy. And looking at him straight on, I'm going to come at it this way. I'm just going to kind of do a round circle into that. Oh, I like what you're doing there. I'm just trying to match that's that. A, that's a tough angle. <laughs> it's a weird one. That you're achieving. I think it's important to look at them head on yeah. so you can match to the other side. And, and like step back sometimes and look at your work so you, you know. 
Yeah, when you step what, back, you see yeah, things you, you didn't see yeah, up close. Like, oh wow! Or, or you know, sometimes you you get you start getting mesmerized. <laughs> what you're, you know, <laughs> like, I should have stopped. Yeah, does ever happen to you? It's like, oh my oh, gosh, God, what yes. do I do? <laughs> so I'm gonna tilt him up a little. I need to tighten this in a little to match Rudy's side so that they look the same. Um, okay, bud. So I'm gonna just sort of blend a little bit of that off. Blend a little bit of this off. Tighten this, tighten it up in there. And we're kind of blending this together that a little looks better. Really good, Amy. Hey, this looks cool. But you know what? The it's the tools make our job so much easier sometimes. If I was going at all this with a straight shear, I'd be going back and forth, evening yeah. up the sides. It's so much easier with a blender. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to come in here and kind of thin this down a little so it lays nicer. He has some curl in there, and just some weird curl. Not curl curl, but it's a weird curl. And it lays a little awkward at times. Like that curl, I'm just going to tease it a little out and it'll, it'll lay flat then. So coming over here. And we're just going to tidy up here like to match Rudy's side. Just lay that air out of the way. Like Rudy said, you want to comb the hair out because there may be some in there that's puffing it up and it's actually flatter than what we think. So I, I don't know, I'm looking, I think they match pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Looks it looks cute. good. Good yeah. boy. I'm up from the side. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. If anything, you can, hit, you can hit me a little more on this side. Tighten, tighten it up. A Just little? a tad. There's a few, but okay. it looks good. It looks pretty much the same. Over here, make sure that it's the same. Yeah. Maybe just right there. Right, you see that one right in front spot. of yeah. That I actually right now I, I know what I want to cut. Yeah. And I am gonna pull the air up because mm. this is baggy skin. Yeah. And I don't want to get it in my blade. Yeah. So at this point <clears throat> I know what I want to cut. I'm gonna tauten up the skin and I'm going to just blend it together in there so you, everything just flows. That looks good. Now the only other thing I saw on the face, yeah. you can see it? You mm -hmm. saw it, didn't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look. Sure. A little uneven. Yeah. We can do it with blenders or we can do it with yeah. straights or curves. What yeah. do you think? How would you want to do it? Either way will do it. You yeah. can do it with any of them because he has that little bit of a I would say curly the, coat. I would say maybe the blenders only because if we do it with shears, you're going to see a lot of lines. You will. And it'll be easier for us to match each other's work with blenders, I think. <clears throat> I'm just going to come under the chin a little bit, tidy everything up there. It's a little, a little loosey there. It's okay, honey. It's okay, Gus. And there again, he has a weird curl. I'm going to take it off because it just stands straight out. I'm just scissoring off with my blending shear these weird places. And this is the, the Sapphire 7.5 inch 52 tooth. This is only sold by Kenchi on their website. Or you can buy it at shows too. Sometimes. It's not always at the shows. You can order them at the shows, I guess. We just took a little, but was that enough? You want to yeah. touch it up? Are you happy with it? I'm, I'm happy with it. One thing I do a lot is in here. Mm -hmm. See how dogs all have this tight yeah. flow? Yeah. So if you pull that back and you just carefully blend it off, because it just bags up in there, mm. and get rid of that. And it, when the, the, the lip is curled, that hair sticks out the opposite yeah. direction. It sticks out longer. So I 
straighten up. Well, you're you're more courageous than me. I would actually opt to do that with a clipper. You could. You I know? used to and always do it with a ten blade. Yeah. Only, always, always, always. Yeah, only. And I would. You know what? It's a good point. I would recommend to the audience if they were going to do it that they did use a ten blade. Yeah, a tad bit safer. Right in there. But it, but if you're comfortable with that and you're as skilled yeah. as Amy is here, you can do it that way. But you know. You might want to just use a safer it. route's the ten blade. Yeah, just the corner blade. of the ten blade running along that yeah, lip. Yeah. And then keep that tidy. Yeah. So where do we move on next, Rudy? What should we do? Should we? You call. Why don't, you why don't choose we do the this? next area. Why don't, why don't we give him a head break? Because okay. we're fussing with his head That's so true. much. That's true. Yeah, we'll we'll we'll, uh, we'll lose him. Oh. Here. And we'll give him a little break on his face. Because you stay on one thing too long and they, they tend to get tired. And why don't we, do a, do. Why don't we do a little leg work? And then, okay. and then we can come back to his head and like, you know. Tie in the neck? Yeah, tighten it up and we'll, we'll, and we'll do his, uh, his mane there and, and his head. Just kind of. You've got nice scissor skills, Rudy. No. Yeah, you do. No, I'm not, yes, I'm not the best scissor. No. All right, oh, I see you curve that in a little bit, setting yeah. a little angle back in there. Yeah, the but I don't want to take too much off yeah. of the hog. Just want to get this a little better. See, I'm watching and him then, intently because I got to match. And Rudy then, and I have to match each other. Like, if I do one side of something, he has to match it and vice versa. So. We're gonna make this groom look like one person did it. I'm trying to just take here. So I may have taken a little too much off. Not from what I'm looking, it looks real nice. See there again, you're right up close, Rudy. I'm looking at yeah. from a distance and I see a nice shape. I see the shape here. You're going for that kind of competition foot where it's like boom and they're standing on their toe, right? Yeah. yeah. Kind of. So I'm going to comb up just to see where it's bulky and then I'm going to comb it back down. It's bulky here and there. All right. And I also got match Rudy. So. No, leave that, no. Leave that there. He, he could bring it, honey. He'll just lay and chew on it. He's going to make a mess. You got your Kong, big boy. <laughs> Did you get a Kong? <laughs> Did he get all the food out of that? He got it all out. He worked hard. <laughs> Stay with boy. All right, so now i got to match this. I'm going to... Turn my shears in this way. <laughs> You're protecting your gong. He's like, yeah, go ahead, make my day, take my gong. <laughs> Alex is going to start his own YouTube channel just to take my viewers, he said. Yeah. I'm telling you, I told you. My, my viewers are very loyal, honey. Yeah. They may love you, but yeah, they're they loyal. Their own channel. <laughs> it's just going to be sarcasm. <laughs> and, and sarcasm 101. And pizza. And pizza. Yeah. How to down a pizza? Two point five tickets. Looks very handsome. That looks great. Boy, we do make a good team, Mr. Mm -hmm. Rudy. Yeah. Yeah, he's coming over. It's great. funny watching Rudy go from happy go lucky and to then, serious. And then he to, got real serious when we business. started grooming. All of a sudden, it was business, man. You know, I noticed that too. You got real serious. Yeah. I don't know it's that like he got serious, but work. definitely focused. He's focused. Because I'm. Because uh, we're paying clients. He's <laughs> charging us. <laughs> yeah. You guys didn't know that, but they're being charged even for the pizza. Three hundred dollars. <laughs> yes. 
um, I faked them out. I said I was paying for the pizza, and then then I then I stuck them for the bill anyway. <laughs> Not to mention what we're going to charge for the dog. He stole my credit oh, card right. number. Yeah. Which I stole from somebody else anyway. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> and don't think for one second, you know. We're not going to take their truck, too, because they got a really nice truck, guys. Yes. <laughs> We've had well, one truck have stolen already. We did. That's a that's another video. That's a topic for another video. We had our truck, our white F-250, stolen right out of our driveway in a nice little rural town in Pennsylvania. We still got the door of the ignition lock. Yeah, they threw really? that in the driveway. They threw that in the driveway. Car? Yeah. The truck. And then after I watched the video on YouTube, you would be surprised how fast they steal that. Yeah, we watched the video. How how the heck was this done? You know, and there was actually a video showing us how somebody would have stolen. Gus, you sound so mean. I got my con. Does everybody see? I got my con. This is what I got. I got a con. A big bulldog. Sometimes you gotta say stop and move on or you'll just keep nipping away to the point where you mess up your work. Well we did a good job of skimming. There's not like there's really not a lot of scissor work to tie this together. No. So are these your shears that you usually typically groom with, Rudy? Are these yeah. your those are mm -hmm. his yeah. your bad knives? Yeah, and I just sharpen them. And they're ready to go. Well, we didn't get to the chest yet. We got to tie yeah, that I in. Just, I just did a did little bit. Did you start? Bit, uh, just a okay. tie. But I, I worked on this front leg a little, Amy, so you can do your other leg there. And we could, uh, I'm just going to tidy up his face a little with the scissors. Yeah, anything you see, just go mm -hmm. at it. do my outline with a straighter curve and then I'll come in and make it all blend together my chunk or shear in a scissor action. Oh yeah. You've got to try this Rudy. They look like they cut like and look, there's just no scissor line. Like chunk. Because I'm not, I'm Those not a competition, sh I'm not a competition yeah. groomer, but I know the shape I want. Mm -hmm. I'm just yeah, not, just I can't like just, just go and make it happen. Your leg came out great. My, I oh, it's got smart. It's, uh, well, you got to try these. Any areas that are of concern to you, I want this. you to try these. I think you're going to love it. Mm -hmm. Scissoring with these chunker shears. I just want to take this leg a little shorter. Thing. Your thing. I'm just rounding us around. Open up a business together and scissor every dog together. <laughs> you know, yeah, and we'll just char charge like you know five hundred dollars a dog and do two sure. dogs a day. Everybody will pay that. Of course they will. Because hmm. it's us. But it's Amy and Ruby. Okay, bud. Soften that round 
that in a little bit. I'm still bad to stop. This is my worst leg too. I have a hard time. It's okay, bud. He has some odd bends to his legs, so we are actually doing a little camouflage mm -hmm. grooming. Did you notice that on the mm -hmm. legs, Rudy? They're, yeah. they're a little easty-westy in different places. And yeah. So we're leaving hair some places to kind of camouflage that. Yeah. And because he's, a, like, squirming on his front he's legs. He's very squirmy. We tend to, you know, you, you, the front legs are a little, coming out a little fuller than the back legs. You know, yeah, only, only because but when we step back and look, we yeah. look, do we like, yeah, um, I'm going to pick this leg up, give it a shake, let the hair fall out, mm -hmm. kind of round it up into the front. Just to, it was a little thick, my leg was. Step. And I'm, I'm going to look at it dead on this way. I'm going to look at it dead on this way. Good boy, guess. Definitely groomers are, is it contortionist? Mm -hmm. Where you can just whip your body into all kinds of weird places? And still manage to get something done. <laughs> yeah. Good boy. I think I think our front legs look great. Yeah. They look like they match good. Mm-hmm. Okay. They do. For the most part, I, th I think so. Mm-hmm. I rounded the feet. I was rounding around the feet. There wasn't a lot to trim on the feet. Did you notice, Rudy? No, because you, so you trimmed them already. We really should just kind of came around and rounded it up a little, and it's fine. Should we get to his head? Yep. I'm going to need stool. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I, was, I was like, I'm like, you do it. Well, I need a stool. I, <laughs> can you groom on a stool? Yeah, um, no, he's a tall guy. He's though. tall. You usually do smaller dogs. That's right. Do you, do you want, you we want can also put him on the ground and he'll, he's good. Do you want me to start his head, Amy? Sure. Or do you want to do his head? No, not really. It doesn't matter. You know what we're going for. We talked about it. Don't mess it up, Rudy. I'm, <laughs> just, I'm just kidding. I am going to try not to. You are not going to mess it up. Very nice. I do want you to try these. On his head? Uh, no, well, you can. I use them on his whole body. But you're probably pretty accurate with those curves on the head. See, I, can't, I have to be able to get above him. I can't even see this to do that. Shorty. You all look good, bud. You know, the only thing I find different about grooming together, like us doing this uh, one dog, is usually when you're on your own, yeah. you, you follow your own pattern. Like, you... you Follow your steps. Yeah. I do this, we're and I do jumping three, around. and we're jumping around, and I'm like, yeah. why don't I do the chest? See, normally you no. would do a flow, and you wouldn't yeah. you wouldn't detour from it so that you right. knew you didn't forget a step. Right, yeah, we're just jumping around. But, you know, we're also trying to get it done, too, though, you know. It had, we got here about 11 today. It's yeah. now 6, yeah. almost 6. And yeah, we we it's been a long day for the dogs. We have both little yeah. Gus and big Gus with us, and that's right. Like we, he really has to put this flamer out in front of the video. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, your groom cut cut short because you guys were chit chatting. Yeah, we we were just having a good time talking and talking shop and talking products and laughing yeah. and we we're like, you know what? We got a, we got a dog to groom. Exactly. <laughs> This is this is the hardest part of it all. Is this? That part is the very, especially on his coat yeah. and his his back dips. Mm -hmm. His coat's a little dippy there. It's just it's hard to make that work. 
I have to have you try the chunker share because you've mm -hmm. never tried a chunker share, and I want to hear what you feel about chunker shears. Yeah, I'll try them on the front legs. Buddy, let me see you. Go, I'm going to tidy up around the rear. I'm going to tidy that up a little bit. Anthony, you get really serious too when the camera's on. You stop talking. Well, we'd like to hear from you too. You guys look so cool grooming together. I don't want to ruin it with my stupid voice. No, oh, that's not true. Oh, God. Why, I'll be up to you. I'm the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really working. I'm just standing in weird positions for about an hour. I've been hanging out with Alex all Yeah, I've been hanging out with Alex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is tidied up this isn't mm. so now I'm gonna make this side match this side and I'm basically just scissoring with my chunker shear the shape that I want I'm coming out on that little shelf that we created from following the, the bone structure of the dog to give him angulation Or even Steven. <sighs> These chunkers are just like magic erasers, honestly. Really? Oh, yeah. You're going to love them. See, I, I did all that with these chunker shears. I didn't use this straight. But if you look at it from the side, every angle, you just see how tight his rear is now. I mean, and from a distance, stop it, Alex. Get a muzzle for you. What's he doing? He's making fun of the words I'm using. She said tight rear. I did. That was good. Apparently, Anthony picked right up on that, too. Oh, yeah. I was holding back laughing, so I can't really judge Alex. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the dark side. <laughs> so do you see that? You see that, Anthony? When he's standing. You see a little bit of doesn't that just pop his rear? Oh it's tight. Okay, okay. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I won't say that again. <laughs> say it one more time. No, I'm not gonna say. <laughs> That's one tight rear. <laughs> so Rudy came down and then he came straight down right here in front of the just to make it look like he's a little more on toe so I had to match that and I liked it I like what he did so it works we made it work I think we're literally making it look like one person might have groomed this dog and sure. I too Looks good. Yeah. Oh, buddy, you got groomed by Rudy. Aw, and Amy. Look at you. Oh, hey, I've never been buddy. groomed by Rudy. Wow, what a moment. I so, mean, yeah, let me see those chunkers, Amy. I mean, I, yeah, you know what? I usually may look around the feet. Mm -hmm. I gotta fix my chest. Looks great. Yeah, it does look it great. Really good. I'm happy. Ooh, you tied that in nice. A little. I I figured I'd just start it. Yeah. Can I, can I try these chunkers? Do it. So if you use them like a scissor, it just magically no scissor marks is what you're gonna really? get from it. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like this. Wow. You gotta get a pair. Now that's the Kenji Love, which is. Only a $99 shear. Mm -hmm. And I use that shear I like every this. day on so many coats. Yeah. So many haircuts. I love it. Wow. It's really cool. Because it acts just like a scissor. Yeah. Mm hmm. I but like it gives it you that tiny bit of forgiveness. Mm hmm. Yeah. I like Whereas it a the straight shear, it's done, it's done. Oh, 
Gus. Oh, he looks. You're he so looks amazing. Sweet. Thanks for tolerating us, Gus. You're oh. such a good boy, Gus. You are so <laughs> Look good. Look at you. I love you. I love you, Gus. I love you. Oh, you're such oh, a good boy. Oh, your breath is stinky, Gus. That's okay. I don't care. Hey, listen, I love you, too. And because he's a big boy, I like him to stand. I like to get him down. Stay. I like to get him down and look at him from the top. Your boy you did a great job, Rudy. Holy crap. Look at that. Stop. And just see that the head flows right down to the neck. And this looks nice. If there's anything that I would need to do at this point, this is a great angle for me to see and make sure that he looks symmetrical when I'm looking, standing on top of the dog, you know, because normally the dog is standing right beside us, you know, so we would really see any flaws from this angle. This isn't an angle we usually look at from a groomer perspective. So this just tells me, yeah, his, this is a very, very symmetrical trim. It looks great. Wow, that neck turned out great. Oh, yeah, buddy. Come here, buddy. Oh, my goodness. Good boy. Ooh, Good boy. Nice. Holy crap. I we know, they're good. so mean. Big Gus. Especially we games. did good. Yeah, we did good, right? You did it, I know. Gus. I'm so proud of you. Oh, I'm oh, so proud you of you. You did it, Gus. Yes. Oh, boy. So guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. We had so much fun making it for you. If you did, do us a favor, hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you in the next video.